So yeah, it's uh, it's been crazy. I mean, dealing with with the state of Oklahoma, um, which is strange being on the other side of that ordeal because I, you know, I was part of negotiating compacts um, in 2013, the last time they had done tobacco compacts on the state side. But I mean, I was with with the second box, but I was on the state side of the time. Um, so I kind of ex- knew what to expect, and it's been nothing like that. So it's been interesting having you know the the advantage of vantage point of being on, on both sides of that but yeah i was gonna ask um what are your thoughts on the governor's treatment of the tribes over the last few years yeah it's uh you know my, my stance um hasn't really softened since uh the beginning of it so originally i reached out when it started and so i'm not i don't go to the casinos i've never gambled before in my life um and so for me, it's never really been a protecting casino thing. It's all, it's been protecting tribal sovereignty um, and our rights to um, conduct business on sovereign tribal land, um, historical reservation. Um, and so my original stance and still is the same thing was I reached out to the governor's office and asked if I could speak about tribal sovereignty and uh, from a Republican standpoint. So, like, not, there are not very many Republican tribal leaders. I'm maybe one of one right now. Like, I'm not, I'm not sure if there's another Republican tribal leader. Um, and so, as far as, like, executive leader, chief or chairman or governor, president, um, and would return my call, you know, and uh, even reached out to his chief of staff at the time, couldn't get a call back, finally got a I think I finally got a text message back from the chief of staff um, saying that he, he would set something up. And then it just got progressively worse, like the rhetoric and the uh, some of the decisions that were being made by the by the executive office. And so I just couldn't I couldn't put myself in that position. So when he finally called me and asked to sit down with me, I was like, boat sail, ship has sailed. Like there's no like I don't I don't have the luxury of sitting down with you anymore. It just it's gotten that bad. So I remember I was on my way to Walgreens to uh pick up pull-ups actually it may have been diapers two years ago and uh governor stick called me and and says uh you know i'd really like to talk about uh, gaming with you and the second box nation and i just had to tell him i can't i mean I, I at this point i can't do it had you returned my call a month ago i wouldn't have been in a position to betray you know, 37 other tribal leaders um, uh, because that's what it would have looked like at that point. And of course, I'm sure, as you saw, there were two tribes that did end up negotiating with him and coming up with compacts that were um, voided out by the state Supreme Court. Um, But I mean, we shook hands with those tribes the day before they did that to us. You know, so I wasn't wanting to put myself in that position to look like that. And it was the right decision. Um, It hasn't made me any friends with with that staff but uh, but i did try and so and my goal still is that if if there was opportunity to have a good relationship with with the governor and his staff uh, for the benefit of the state um the benefit of the second fox nation uh, the benefit of you know the other 37 uh, federally recognized tribes in the state i would do it um right now i just don't think that that's something that he's interested in um well, probably my people at this point. It just makes everything more difficult. 